Hi guys, Francis here, and welcome back to another episode of Knights of Dragons. So in today's episode, I'm on the Knights of Dragons Reddit, and I'm going to be going over the Ask Me Anything questions that we have all asked. There's over like 100 questions or so, and Grey didn't really have the time to get them all done, but a lot were actually answered. And some people actually answered the same, you know, and I'll be going over the most important ones, the ones that I feel are most important for the community. So... Bear with me. So yeah, Chakram asked, when is the local shop going to be available? And Deka actually replied to that. Uh, the, this was one of the first questions uh, that they actually replied to. And they said, it is it is actually available. We want to offer different items for different currencies in here. And we are working on what kinds of items you would like to see in there. Uh, so sit tight and you should see some items appearing in there in the future. And yeah, what they mean by it is actually available is by, uh, they mean it is available in the game, but the things that are going to be posted in there aren't uh, in there yet. That's what they mean. And then a random casual replied, different currencies as in gold, gems, or as in dollars, euros, slash other countries' currencies. So, for example, cheaper offers for countries where average income is lower. Gold, slash gems, slash shot, slash etc., are what we mean when we refer to currencies. This is quite nice. So what they, what they mean uh, by that is you can get things from there with even materials as they uh, or shards as they refer to it as they you can see in here. And I really and I really really like it actually. So here we have Candy Mythical actually asking, uh, could you make the victory screen between Auto Bay battles last a little less time? This is uh, one of the. <laughs> more uh, annoying things, you know, because if you have it on auto uh, automatic in the pet bait, then it sometimes it, it takes way too damn long. And they can uh, answer that too, you know, and that they said, that is something interesting, thanks for the feedback, you know, so they are actually going to work on that. This is one of my own questions as well, by the way. Are you guys busy with new story mode areas? They can reply to this with, we do want to do this, but currently we have some other features and events which we believe are some more interesting and fun than working on new story mode areas. Personally, I do agree with this and I don't, because honestly, adventure is something that needs a revamp real quick, because, you know, after the Dark Prince there's only heroic mode, and heroic mode doesn't really have a story to it at all. You know, it's just there, and you can get a stronger armor. I like it. You know, I like the idea of a rogue mode, but uh, adventure uh, should be expanded with a bigger, um, bigger storyline. So, yeah, Derby Sean, hi Deka, this game is all about friends, but the only part that you compete with friends is in the arena, tournament arena, leaderboards, your friends, yeah. And they don't have that for the epic boss and heroic mode. And that's, that's true, they don't. And I honestly, it's not really a feature that I would like to see, you know, or that, that I find necessarily to see, but it's something that I maybe would want, actually. Oh yeah, they could also reply to this. That does make sense and is actually a good idea. We will look in how easy it will be to add friends, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, <laughs> it makes sense to them as well. And I, I love to uh, that they actually do this Q&A, you know, because then you can actually see what their priorities are and what they are working on next. And they should do this more often, you know, not every year or every six months or something, but every two or three months to see on where they are heading with the game. Yeah, I believe that everybody wants to know this. What's the Shadow Forge drop rate in a max step chest? This is one of the uh, questions that... Pretty much everybody has asked if uh, if uh, he or she has opened a chest above like 25 gems, and you know it's just one of those shadow forts chests basically. And they can reply to this with, as this is something that comes up quite often, we are currently working on a game version which will indicate the content and an idea of the chances each category will have. Uh, basically, what they actually should do is just like Clash Royale. Uh, they have those chests too, you know, and what's in it, they, they basically say what's in it, you know, you can get uh, 30 epic cards and there's one legendary guaranteed. They should do the same with um, the chests, you know, if, if there's like 52 chests that you can open, you will at least have one Shadow Forge guaranteed. Doesn't matter if it's a set or, uh, you know, that, that at least when you're spending like 1000 gems on it, that you're actually going to get something back for it. So yeah, Dynamic Guildmaster Nick, this is uh, from No Battle No Victory, I believe, because they have the No Battle No Victory Dynamic, or the NBNV Dynamic is what they call themselves. Can you bring back the Epic Balls collection? This was one of my biggest questions. And new Epic Balls is new uh, friend player slots. So 
Honestly, friend player slots, I could use them as well, but I keep my friend list updated. Uh, that's why I never have above 100 friends for some reason. My friends, my friend codes are in the comments down below, by the way. My first free account and my EU account are down there, I believe. And the rest is like a bit more personal. That aside, epic bosses, they should be renewed. You know, I did that video uh, one or two weeks ago saying, hey, uh, when are Dragonforge or uh, maybe Shadowforge bosses going to come out? And you guys have had your own opinions about that, you know, and I enjoyed that. You know, you actually said, like, hey, Dragonforge are not needed, you should go to Shadowforge instead. And I completely actually agree with that after I made the video as well, you know, after I saw the comments pouring in, I, I was like, yeah, we actually had to do that. Epic Bones Collections, though, yes, definitely. This is my opinion, by the way, I'm not reading from anybody else, but exactly, exactly this, you know, Epic Bones Collections should return. I don't know how, but they, they just have to, they, they just have to. But Deka answered, Epic Boss Collection is an event we would like to bring back. When I read this, by the way, because I was on top of this uh, when I saw it, and I was like, yes, this has to be uh, redone. And when they, when Deka actually replied to this, and they wa actually want to bring it back, I did a little mid-air jump, you know. <laughs> and as it was removed a long time, uh, yeah, as it was removed a long time ago. It, 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 the last Epic Boss Collection was... Two years ago, maybe? I'm not even sure anymore, but I loved those, you know, and the, I, the, despite, uh, despite the, um, or the actual reward being shit, it was something you could actually have to work with, you know, that, or work to, not work with, work to. So yeah, next one is, is there anything new in the works for events and such? Also, will you ever make it worth to level it up, or worth it to level up? So but above level 175, you know, because level 100, your stats stop increasing, and after level 175, your armor slots stop coming. Because you can actually get 175 armor slots, or something, or 100, I'm not even sure, 120 or something, and above level 175, the armor slots stop as well. And after that, you just get, if you are like level 1000, you get an enchanted key. And they, they actually said that... No, <laughs> that's not coming, unfortunately, or not as as of now. But new events and stuff, you know, the events that uh, they are having right now with the Decatron armor, I like those. Okay, I really like those, but it's not uh, something that I want. That that it's uh, with the guild, you know, and I want new guild events. Uh, remember when raid was announced for the first time? You know, the Horde War Gear that brings back so many memories. But that was announced a long time ago, and honestly. We had no new events in between, and I don't know why, because I love new events, you know, I, I would love to make some content about it as well, but here we have what Deka replied, and they said we are organizing some new community events, like the Deka anniversary event starting today and stuff, you know, this was a couple days ago, but we are also looking into revamping current in-game events, Epic Boss, Hunting Ground, yeah, Epic Boss should re get a bigger revamp, Hunting Ground is also not something uh, that has been... Uh, you know, given some love, and offering new ones in the future. This is a long time for us, but it's really something we can do, you know? And yeah, they also stated, uh, you can see it right here, leveling isn't currently the main goal of the game, which explains why some of the rewards are outdated and underwhelming. We can consider changing the rewards a bit, but they will never be game changers in any case, as we consider it something that should happen organically. I agree. I Agree, but honestly, getting an enchanted key for a go for being level 1000, you know, just give me 10 beast keys or something, you know, give uh, a beast key for every 100 levels you get, you know, and like level 10,000, 100 beast keys, for example. It's just a regular example. And Nail Kitty actually asked, long time players uh, need a useful gold. Also, will enchanted and dark prince keys just be updated? The uh, awards are pretty useless. And uh, Enchanted and Dark Prince chests are updated on a daily basis, they already po they already said that on another post, apparently. And they actually agree that gold is in a weird spot for the older players, because they don't have anything to spend them on. Honestly, I've been playing this game for 5 years, never had more than 100 million in one bank. Uh, mainly because other guilds need gold as well, you know, and if you do that, then mm, it's kinda, yeah, on that side. So yeah, I also asked uh, a ton of questions, uh, there were like... 10 or 12 questions, but there were like 8 already answered, so I was like, okay. Um, I, uh, this one was from Ruben, by the way. Is there going to be f a feature implemented to enhance faster? These are all my questions, by the way. 
And I actually um, <laughs> got uh, th three points, honestly, on one of them was mine, of course. Anyway, yeah, the, the, this question, uh, they actually replied to it with, uh, with, we have discussed this in the past, but it's something that would require a lot of time to implement. Uh, and we have preferred putting that time into new features, but it is on our list. So uh, fast enhancing is coming, because honestly, um, I can make 10, 10 minute videos about enhancing Solely. And <laughs> this is something really fucking awkward, honestly. So this is pr pretty much uh, the second best question that I asked. Um, new events, as in brand new gold events, raids, were, raids was the last new event, we got three years ago, already said that. Are there any plans for that? Also got an example, someone saying, no gem wash, left raids, only free energy. That was from um, Mike from Dragons, by the way. Anyway, they replied to that with, we don't have any events to announce just yet, but we are working on a new event where cooperation will be necessary that we can announce very soon. So they are not talking about the Decatron armor, they are talking about something brand new here. Uh, because you can, it, it says it right here, new event where cooperation will be necessary. I think that they mean with the gold, because cooperate, or maybe we need to cooperate with them as usual. Not entirely sure on that. And yeah, this, this is one of the questions that a lot of people were asking me as well, and still are asking me to this day. Is there going to be something implemented to go get the sets for the oldest, um... Shadow Forge, uh, maybe in the local shop, and they reply to that with, we are thinking of all the sets, uh, to make all the sets available, rather than in just the starter packs, as those are limited. Local shop is, I don't know why they said local with an E, okay, but uh, sure, uh, is for example a possibility. Honestly, I would love to see all the sets get in the local shop for a couple gems, you know, I mean, not like 200 gems or something, that's for a limited time, maybe for a limited time, not entirely sure, but... You just have to uh, be keep keep looking in the local shop, by the way, if you see something. If you see something in there, let me know right away so I can uh, maybe put it on my own. <laughs> Hopefully find it on my own uh, tablet, because it's a local shop. And I'm not entirely sure what why they called it a local shop, but okay. Um, are there any new buildings going to be implemented in the game and or new gold rankings? Uh, for example, Coke Gold Master or Potion Breeder slash Gem gainer for your kingdom so remember a clash of clans you have that gem mine in there and i would love to see that in here as well you know that you can get uh, one gem a day or one gem for two days and it doesn't really have to be that overpowered like 20 gems in uh, a day or something but just one gem in a day would be nice of course you know and then with a max of like 50 gems or something i don't know but they reply to that with we currently don't have any buildings we feel would add a lot of depth to the game agreed on that one honestly we have a few new feature ideas that could warrant new buildings and we will add them if that is the case so we can see new buildings coming along honestly uh, the kingdom is one of those things that you know i i try to look at all aspects when i uh, and when i actually make questions and this was one of my own questions you know i wanted to see new buildings but they are also quite right when it comes to this, because you actually have to um, consider uh, what type of new buildings you're going to put in, you know, if they don't have any new significant thing. You know, we have like 20 buildings that just get you gold, and uh, the, the only two good ones are the dragon, uh, dragon egg uh, shit and the training fields, you know, that's it. And for... Uh, the last question really came from me, honestly. Are YouTubers going to get somewhat more of a sponsorship for making content Knights of Dragons related? I've been making videos for over three years now. I've been uh, three years on YouTube, three years with Knights of Dragons YouTube. And Guri slash Daker Games never even... I don't even know they exist. I don't think they even know I exist at this place. The only one they know of is Stimmy Gam. And honestly, he has a sponsor. I, I think he has a sponsorship. I'm not entirely sure. You can quote me on that. But, man, it, it just feels to me that I've been neglected for three years, you know. And after a while, you just start like, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> I'm here too. I'm not saying that I'm not getting any love from the community itself, but... I, for, I, for a YouTuber my size, for this game at least, and uh, not getting anything back from Greece slash Deka is kind of getting annoying for me. But yeah, they also said, we always want to support any quality from community contrib contributors as much as possible. Get in touch with me privately. So I did that, and I'll get back to that in a bit. And Blaze the Kid actually responded to my last question, or actually a follow-up question to the answer 
to the to the last question of mine. It's it's getting really confusing, isn't it? So to have a follow-up question, for instance, you allowed streamers slash YouTubers or etc. to show your game, we can uh, uh, your game. Uh, can we help the company grow by allowing our computer slash gaming coders to help? I understand you have a team, but at the point at some point the community can help the community as much as you all help us. Now, honestly, I see the point that this guy is making, but. I don't really feel, feel like that this is really necessary, you know, if they just need new coders or something, they, they just hire them, but okay. Spin R, or Spin Ari, I'm not, not entirely sure, asked two questions, like, are you guys still working on bringing, bringing back gems in the upper balls, and is there going to be a new kind of event or an expansion coming out in 2018-19 or introducing a new game-changing mechanic? So he's basically asking for brand new content with the second question. So for the first question he said like we are going to be adding gems back in the walls in the near future. Currently as you are aware there is a bug which blah blah blah. For this reason we don't want to push players into the event. I can agree on some points you know but it has been way too damn long you know. Gems in the arena are back but in the balls, Man. It, honestly I don't know what actually took him so long to actually do this but Okay, and for the second question, yes, there's some new event and game mechanic which we want to offer. The timeline on it is not something we are able to give at this time, but it is being actively worked on, as we also mentioned in the vision statement you can find in the other posts that they did. You know, there were like a couple, like four, four or five posts in the past week or something, you know. Hey, we uh, made a new post on Reddit. Click here and you will be sent a link to it and stuff like that. And Irwin is another gold master from uh, No Battle No Victory, uh, the, the family. And he actually asked, any plans on making a global chat? Honestly, this is not really necessary because nobody's really going to delete line and actually make use of that. And also, you can clearly see this point right here, language barrier, moderation itself. Most players have an established communication structure inside and outside of the game, meaning line slash kick or whatever you want to call it. Everybody uses the line, but there's also one or two girls that still use kick. And developer time in implementing something uh, like uh, like this would require a lot of resources. Agreed, you know, it's, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. We have line and they have a filter on it. Uh, or they have a filter on the fucking uh, KD chat itself. So it's fine. Oh yeah, Wiggly the lag. Are they going to come more fusion boost pets in the future because right now it's ridiculous how many pets you need to fuse away. I completely agree with this honestly. I've been waiting for pets that actually uh, are like fusion boost fusion boost pets because I've seen a couple fusion boost pets and they give you jack shit honestly. They, they, they don't do shit. And yeah they also reply to this with the leveling curve for pets is something we want to improve on before bringing out new fusion boost pets. Any uh, that requires some balancing isn't just a simple fix. I can see some point in that. Uh, here, Johnny187. Will the Epic Boss ever become anything more than Epic Boss, or will it, uh, will it at least get our uh, 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 update? You know, and they also replied, uh, we answered it a bit earlier. Here, we want to revamp the Epic Boss to be something more interesting and challenging than it currently is. Once we are able to not have the game bug we currently have, we will improve everything. And I. I really want this actually, I really want uh, the epic boss to come back, I want the adventure to come back and uh, I want the kingdom to have some more use there rather than just gold. That's, that's the three main things here, because gold Y raids and arena has gotten tons of love as of lately, but epic boss is something that I used to love to do, you know, level 43 for the, for the plus version and actually it being decent. But right now, you know, all you have to do is just go for it, go for it, go for it, it feels like. And there's the only material that you get is at level 200. And honestly, I don't have the time to go to for level 200. I'm not that active. So yeah, the second question is, any chance of doing a contest where everyone picks their favorite past armor and then you guys make a special remake? They did this with Moon Tide, you know, the Moon Tide uh, Eternal or something. I would love if they if they, if they had named it Moon Tide Eternal, but they renamed it something else. Um, that is actually a great great idea. We will look at doing such contests in the near future. Uh, Blazeborn, definitely. That is one of those armors that I want to see. <laughs> 
and his last question was can RAID and war top 100 rewards be updated a little so oh, that is actually the third question damn you did a lot of questions sorry about my pronunciation on rewards by the way I, I try to either avoid the word or pronounce it but then it sometimes it just doesn't feel like it's uh, proper but okay uh, so could you expand a bit what you would like to see here we update uh, the watch for every season if you mean the shards being the same for three months in a row this is something we spoke about and we did this way so that girls always finish at the same rank and get themselves a shadow for each armor instead of collecting four shots before moving on to the next month okay but i feel like that shader since it's dragon points and uh, B shanks. I have seen enough of those, you know, they, they should put those in the milestones right now and just keep them there and honestly uh, to... I also want to see more uh, that all the Shadow Forge not become uh, like uh, legendaries are now irrelevant But I, I still want them to have some use, you know, that you can fuse them away and you can actually do that But you know if for example if they keep updating the milestones and stuff with new uh, Shadow Forge season materials, where will the older seasons go, you know? I don't want those to become irrelevant, I still want those materials to be somewhere where I can get them. And the last question is, will you be adding more to Castle besides gold farms and the necessities? Uh, currently not in the plans, it is something that we might consider in the future, but it takes a lot of developer time. Agreed, but, you know, uh, the community... The, the biggest thing that the community wants right now is something brand new. Will gold be used for again? I have one over 65 million, and yeah, they got the, the Gold is something that uh, you just either, if you have above 30 million, you have enough to max like 5 armors. And if you have only Epic Fusion Boost, then you have way too much time on your hands. Callum, I uh, remember this name from somewhere, but okay. Hi, I was wondering if you had any plans to give gold uh, the means of expanding further and providing more utility. My gold is over 3 years old and we have over 2 billion gold. Same here, 1.6 billion but okay. And nothing to do with it. There could be a gold shop where you buy buffs for, or even just com cosmetic items that are very expensive. Aura effects for example, a Tabard or a Banner. Also, more, and the Banner thing is actually quite nice. <laughs> that is a good idea, Callum. For fuck's sake, why is that FFS behind your name? I, I know, I don't mind, okay. Um, and they can actually reply to this with a positive note for once. Okay, we don't currently have a plan for the near future to add expanding features to guilds, but I honestly, you can't, you can't really deposit, you can't deposit it in your guild, but you can really take it back, you know, the gold. But all the ideas you gave here are very good and are something we might consider in the future. Callum, you know what? You got a fucking thumbs up for that. Uh, secondly, are there any uh, moves towards implementing some sort of family slash align in alliance identification in game as line is our only current method? Alliances are something which were created outside of the game, agreed, it, it wasn't in the game, it was never supposed to be in, in the game, and if we were to bring them in it, we would have to create all the infrastructure, which would take a lot of time and effort. Uh, blah, blah, maybe miss out to something really important for you guys. Alliances are a topic we have wanted to tackle in a while. It comes up regularly in our conversations, but we haven't been able to find a solution we are satisfied for at the moment. But it's also like, what exactly do you want to do with those alliances then? You know, because I don't really see this um, have any proper thing here. You know, if you just put it in your build description, hey, I'm from NWO or TFO, Empire, whatever the fuck you're from. You know, that that's about all, you know, why would you have an, a, a separate thing for alliances? Um, I, I don't see the use of it, personally. Chance Chess Contest, CCC. Why didn't, why didn't you do that with a K? K, 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 okay, sorry. Uh, the imp impl implied value of Chance Chess goes from left to right when you go to the chess and you start on the best chess. Can you please change the rob so that you do not get a key for a for a chest that is from the right of you. As a player to spend gems on a high level chest and get keys for a lower level is very discouraging. I somewhat agree, uh, but they actually reply to this with, there isn't really an increasing value on chests uh, the earlier they are. Best example is that treasure chest order usually goes small, medium, big, but I do agree uh, with you that getting a key as a result can sometimes be underwhelming. We will take it into consideration. So this is actually not a question, it's feedback. Idun, how many fucking questions did you do? Is there any chance we can use gold instead of gems to buy anything useful in the shop other than buildings? Maybe cape? Um, I don't think that he is English from his na from a native uh, 
language or something, but okay. Uh, we could consider changing the way we sell some items in the game, but we don't have an established pen for... Uh, I, uh, it's not, the shop is really one of those things that I don't bother with, so... Uh, next, please. Can we get to battle our friends list, like, battle bait and a GPU you up? Can save us some time. Also, he means that you can, like... Uh, just like the pet bait that you can do with 20 friends behind each other automatically. That's kind of arena farming. Uh, we do like the idea to add the artillery battle feature in other game modes, and this could be a valid suggestion. This is still early in the stages, so it uh, it's not something you can expect very soon. Um, what I do want is some brand new content from Korea in, b before 2019 starts, so it's still 7 months from now. But honestly, I like I said, I do want to see some brand new content, because... Uh, the, the things that they implemented are nifty things, you know, they, they aren't really, um, it's like grabbing some boobs, you know, you have two boobs and it's like, you keep squeezing them for the rest of your life, you know, that, that feels like with nifty things they did. Um, and when you add brand new content, it's like adding another pair of boobs to the game, you know, so you can squeeze those too, so it, it's kind of like you can squeeze more boobs. Don't know why the fuck I said that, but okay. Can we get uh, the Smelt Fusion Boost to free our armor slots? Armor slots are also some things that I kind of despise when they added that. <laughs> because sometimes I have 800 armors and I only have 200 slots, you know? And they said that the reason why we currently haven't allowed this is that we don't want players smelting the Fusion Boost armor by mistake. So for now we aren't really going to consider this. If you wish to free up some space, we can always use uh, them up some of non-boosted armors. But I have like six or eight hundred armors on one of my accounts, and all of them are fusion boosts. So it it is kind of a necessity. And honestly, um, the way they did it now is, you know, you see uh, one star to five stars. So what you should do is just do uh, the regular uh, armors first, you know, from one star to five stars, and then put the fusion boosts behind there from two to five stars. So basically, the way it already is. But fusion boosts are uh, actually saying like, hey, you can uh, smell those away. Can we expect something on Hunter Grounds, uh, like an event? I'm curious. That's all, thank you. Okay, Idun. Uh, they have said, we still want to bring it back, but it's not very stable, and we don't want to organize an event which could give a bad experience. Um, I fully agree on this one, but I also have to say that you already did this quite often. <laughs> I'm being honest here, they already did this for a couple times. Oh yeah, yeah, Cafe Apple. I believe this is the Godmaster of Snow Wolf, no, not entirely sure. Uh, get out. Uh, you mentioned you have plans to improve customer service, so this is one of those things that I really, really, really uh, despise about them. Their customer service is so slow. The, the, the biggest problem with, uh, with them for me is that they are too slow and that they aren't always willing to solve the problem for you. And 9 out of 10 times they are, but sometimes uh, it's, it's like, oh damn, you know, you have a big problem on your hands, you know, you get your gems removed, and they say like, hey, um, um, like, they just hide behind their email address, basically. And they can reply to this with, we totally know that uh, customer service is an area where we could improve. Our goal is to give players a positive overall experience, even when they are having issues. We have gotten more directly involved in the process and finding ways to improve the internal communication in order to support customer service. It's an ongoing process that requires some step-by-step -step improvements, but we believe you will notice a better service in the near, near future. Um, I hope so. I hope so, Deka, because it's really annoying. Uh, uh, Naga Kuga, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but okay. Are you going to make the Epic Boss more useful? Epic Boss armors are useless, agreed. Uh, can you give back the free gems button to the people that don't have it? Some of us are watching uh, the videos on another account. Uh, what? I'm not entirely sure what you're meaning by that, but okay. Uh, Deka, uh, yes, we actually had started to prepare something in the St. Patrick's event to get some feedback on it, but due to the current issue with Apple Boss, some players are getting stuck after losing the boss, we decided not to implement it. So I don't know what they are uh, meaning by this, but meh, okay, I can see that. Uh, Dano Crooks, free other questions that I haven't really seen yet. So, I have friends armors that regenerate, regenerate health between hero grounds. Are there any plans to show these unique properties in the armor sets? So yeah, HP uh, from some armors actually does get um, 
renewed. So uh, you actually get some more SP in between stages. I don't know what it is. So uh, they actually uh, answered that with that's interesting. It is a possibility that we could add it as an armor property, but it would need intensive testing as not as to not break the game. Well, honestly, if I see some stats of some Shadow Forge, they are already quite breaking the game. Will ornaments gain stats eventually? Currently, uh, apart from fashion, they do nothing. Uh, ornaments, capes, basically. What do you mean by ornaments? If you are referring to capes, we don't intend to add stats to them for the moment, but we have a discussion on this topic in the past, so it could always help happen if we find a way we like. Last question there, he asked, is any plans to have fusible Shadow Forge from Dragon Forge like Android users? We don't uh, intend on having a Shadow Forge almost be as a result of Dragon Forge. We want to keep them separate for now. Android users don't have access to that either. Yeah, uh, I don't know what Dan O'Crooks means by that, but okay. Oh yeah, Wiggly the Lack, another question he posted is, uh, will there come new pet abilities? Right now the only good ability is Shadow Shield. Yeah, and Death Blow. I, I, Death Blow is good for... Uh, Arena and stuff, and wars, and Shadow Shield is good for raids, apparently. I don't really have that much bet with Shadow Shield, to be honest. But maybe buff the League Strike, so that there will be some variations, or add new abilities. Um, yeah, they want to move the game into a more strategic direction, and new improved pet abilities could one, uh, be one piece of that puzzle. This is still in a concept phase. Um, new pet abilities is something that I want to see, too, but I also want to see new abilities like Double Strike for the armors itself. You know, I don't need only pet abilities, because... Every fucking armor has stun, you know, the, uh, apart from some, and like, with that I mean, first 10 or 15 Shadow Forge, all have first strike, you know, and after that it just became stun, 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 and all of a sudden, uh, Harpy's Valentine Day armor came, and then you have, then uh, that armor having double strike, you know, and I, I loved that, you know, because it has first strike and double strike, so it can hit you and hit you again, but it's not really a big, uh, it wasn't really a big game changer, Many people were saying, oh, this is going to uh, be used in Arena, but yeah, it didn't come out after it with other armors. I would love to see some new Shadow Forge stability. So yeah, and on, the, here are the unanswered questions. Unfortunately, there's a lot of them. Uh, there, there, of course, there is some in between. And, you know, but this was basically the, the biggest of all. And this, this was one of those things uh, that people didn't really like to see, so it got minus two points. And it was just... I don't really know on what it is, it, it's not even a question, it's just um, the one I sent Greece support email over a year ago, still not solved, why? I, I, this is quite meh, it's it's just, I, I don't fucking know what to say about it. It, it feels like um, too many questions and too many random things, honestly. Uh, so yeah, like like this, girl chat. Uh, with a question mark behind it. So what does he mean with gold chats? You know, gold event technical issues, account swap. What do you mean by this? You know, I, I want, th th these aren't questions. This is just two words with a fucking question mark behind it, but okay. So yeah, uh, like I said, um, they said this to me. We always want to support any quality con content from community contributors as much as possible. Get in touch with me privately and we can see what we can do. So they did this over a day ago, almost two days ago. And when I go to messages, I actually did this, you know, I, hey, I was told to get in touch with you guys privately, and I'm totally sure if you made already, Reddit, but here I am anyways, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I got nothing so far. So hopefully they will be soon, because I want, uh, not, not only me, but it's for the YouTubers slash streamers. I don't think there's uh, big streamers at all, actually. I don't think there's any streamers at all. Sometimes I see uh, Redstone or Lucas Wu actually having a live stream, but that's about it. But the things that uh, I mean with uh, YouTubers having some more um, backup from Gris slash Daker games is maybe get some gems sponsored from them, you know, so we can do uh, a little bit more chest openings, because I have to do that myself. Um, and uh, this is not only for me, of course, but I'm looking at it from my perspective as we are, um, as I am going with this. Also, another thing is, you know, it, it feels to me like that they aren't even noticing that there's more, multiple Night's nice Dragons YouTubers by now, you know, and most of them are small, and they should just have them uh, back up, Greece should have, um, you know, Greece should just back up their YouTubers, 
uh, somewhat more, you know, and get more involved with them. Because the YouTubers usually know what the community wants, or mostly know, you know, sometimes that's a little thing that they don't know, but okay. You know, they are like the, the backbone of this game, you know, they are trying to maintain their, um, you know, usually people are, have seek fun in YouTube, you know, and they, they are trying to look for more things in Night Dragons via YouTubers. And basically, we can't do that because there's no new content that we can give. Slightly. And honestly, I've done, I've thought about doing a level one uh, to level one hundred series, but who hasn't done that by now? You know, so that's why I'm doing the gold reviews instead. So it's something new uh, because I don't really have. I, I think I haven't seen anyone doing that before me, at least. You know, and uh, starting over is something that other YouTubers in Netherlands have already done. So I didn't bother with it. And I just want to be interesting, I want to be new, and most of all, I want to be first when it comes to updates. And that is something I really, really want um, to, uh, to have, you know, to, have to, to see updates before anybody else can see, can see them. Of course, with beta, but I want to have the alpha, you know. I want to have some more saying in what, what, uh, what is going into the game. And, you know, the YouTubers, like I said, are the backbone of this community. They keep the community together at times, you know, and that they, they have somewhat more um, info for everybody, you know. If if somebody if somebody knows this uh, knows this specific thing, and um, you know, he can get it out or she can get it out to the rest of the community via a video, and then that is what I mean with the backbone. It, it's it's just YouTubers are necessary for this game, you know. But I have in three years I haven't had one guy or girl. Commenting on my video, hey, you have, um, this video actually got me into this game. That, that is something I never had. Meaning, only players that are currently in the game are subscribing. And that is the only thing that I have seen, you know. And I, what I, YouTuber also has to do, at least I feel like this, um, is get new players into the game, you know. <laughs> and if I only do this, then it's not, it's, it's not really, it doesn't feel like... Uh, a good thing to me that, that there's no new people uh, subscribing that haven't played the game yet, you know, because it, it feels to me that the game is still just dying, and it is, you know, but it's getting slower and slower, and mainly because of these type of Q&As, you can see that they are actually working on stuff, but, you know, to have a Q&A every nine months or so, I want to have one every two or three months so I know where the priorities are for the next three months. And I, I think other people agree with me on this. Many people just want to see um, what, their, what their developers are up to. And with a Q&A, you can clearly do that. You know, So what are we going to look forward to in the next uh, year or so? A new event? I don't know if it's going to be a girl event, but uh, the, you, know, you can see it here. Uh, the, where is it? Uh, it's over here, I believe. Yeah, here. Um, we are thinking, no, we don't have any... Uh, yeah, here. We don't have any events to announce just yet, but we are working on a new event where cooperation will be necessary that we can announce very soon. So I believe in the next month or two months, we can see this new event coming up. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's a gold event. Hopefully. You know, that's something that I want to see. I want to see a new gold event, you know, I want something different from uh, race and wise rotating every two weeks. I want to have a new event so that there's new event, raid, war, new event, raid, war. For example, oh fuck, every damn weekend I just stuck my fucking finger against my printer, but okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more hyped into this game. You know, I've been wanting to make this video for a couple days now, but I didn't have time until now. And now, here it is. So guys, thank you so fucking much for watching. What did you think of the Q&A? Did you have your uh, questions answered? And stuff such as that. And guys, like I said, subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all again in the next video I will be making.